Hey guys, here today with the 2023 Toyota Prius Prime, and I wanted to have a discussion about the charging capacity and the actual, basically some of the measurements, you know, some of the, uh, I, I guess when you go to charge, the app will basically indicate that, for example, you're using seven kilowatt hours of, uh, of electricity, when in fact, it's actually much higher. Um, and actually there was somebody online uh, as I'm actually commuting here I have the uh, the meter basically this is a setting I have the EV energy consumption meter on the trip meter so uh, just playing around with that as uh, we're talking today and I'm probably about to exhaust the battery you'll see that but um, one of the things when I in one of the comments actually one of the folks uh, shared that they had actually measured uh, on their outlet the actual consumption of the meter and it was actually about 56 percent more uh, it was actually so for example um, actually I shouldn't say that it was actually 50 56 percent of what was actually reported in the Toyota app uh, was what was uh, basically it was 56 percent of the actual usage so uh, basically I guess they worked out the person worked out the numbers they were saying it's like a 13 kilowatt hour battery now when you go to use the bed when you go to charge you got to realize 20 percent of the battery is not accessible I guess it's for basic hybrid functions and uh, I think there's another 10 percent as well uh, that again I think you're only have access to like 70 I think it's like something like 70 percent of the battery for actual EV usage so you know with that said uh, one of the things that I did is actually I looked at it, my electrical usage comparing it my uh, my average daily usage in my bill and I did notice that I'm you know on average if I'm, I'm figuring I'm probably charging the car on a daily basis so I noticed that my daily usage is probably about 11 to 12 kilowatt hours higher on average than it was at the same time um, before I actually acquired the 2023 Prius Prime so basically what i'm noticing is that it is consuming a lot more obviously consuming more electricity but but the the app was reporting i was using about 6.9 to 7.04 kilowatt hours on a full charge and what i actually did um i've actually been taking advantage and this is another opportunity uh, that you guys can look out for is to look around and they're not only in the Toyota app, but you could also search. There's um, there's basically websites online that where you can find um, EV stations, recharging stations, and a lot of them at like at uh, town halls and state parks, uh, you know. And some of them that I actually frequent frequently visit, I actually came upon free EV charging stations. So, you know, if you're actually heading out, if you're going uh, to a park and you're going to spend some time there. Hey, you know what if you're there for an hour or two you can uh, hook up and I've done this and basically got like a couple of hours of uh, free EV charging and on top of it it's level 2 so it's actually the 220 charge unfortunately at home I only have the 110 which is fine you know for what I need again the 2023 Prius Prime it's really not designed for fast charging and again it's not a really a full capacity a full range like EV battery you're only getting like 44 miles on the SE here so uh, the 110 overnight is is basically fine but you know look if I can have the level 2 uh, high capacity charge why not right so what I did is actually I was using and I think I shared this with in an earlier video with you guys there's an app called the EV connect uh, which you would need to access some of these charging stations the other one is charge point but what you can do is you can hook up and what I was able to do is looking at the history of one of my charging sessions or several charging sessions for that matter I actually compared them to what the Toyota uh, Toyota app reported and for example like the Toyota app set would say like I use 1.4 kilowatt hours but the actual uh, EV connect reported like three kilowatt hours on you know using the level two so again I'm not quite sure how it makes the conversion uh, with uh, level two to uh, level one you know 
normal 110 charging but I'm pretty sure it's you're basically if, if the Toyota app is saying seven kilowatt hours it's probably more like 12 uh, 12 kilowatt hours for, for recharging so um, you know that's where we're at so I don't know if you notice like right now the charging meter um, I've actually switched on to hybrid vehicle mode so as we were talking the uh, battery is now depleted and it's actually cut over so um, you know so actually now you can see the ratio has changed on the trip and uh, as you can see this is actually normal return home commute traffic so you're kind of seeing uh, how the car uh, what the environment is like that I'm usually commuting home in so uh, and again I'm actually in the HOV lane which I have access to with uh, because you know the 2023 Prius Prime qualifies uh, matter of fact I think not only the 2022 I'm sorry the 2023 2024 uh, qualifies but the uh, I think the 2021 I'm not sure if the 2022 qualifies but I think the 2017 to 2021 Prius Prime which those models didn't have I think the battery capacity was maybe like 26 miles uh, definitely a lot less so uh, they qualify for HOV access unfortunately as of 2020 uh, 2022 the grandfathering in or the allowance of earlier hybrid uh, vehicles like the Gen 3 Prius which I had uh, unless you have an existing clean pass sticker from those from those years uh, you won't be allowed to access HOV anymore as a with a single occupancy vehicle and the other big concern on the horizon is as of September 30th, uh, 30th 2025 I think it was due to the passing of the FAST Act or the I, I, either the passing of it or the changing uh, the expiration of it and I think it's been replaced with the Infrastructure uh, Act or something to that effect. But basically what's happened is over the last several years, the HOV lane, I guess when the HOV uh, basically came into uh, existence, I think it was in 20, when the Clean Pass program came in in 2006, they basically, it was it was sort of like a pilot program it wasn't intended to last as long as it did so they kept extending i guess it was set to expire uh i'm not sure what the first de deadline was but they kept extending it over the year so usually it was i guess in september of that year and i think they extended it in september 2021 or 2022 or something to that effect but from what i understand now 2025 is the upcoming deadline so i don't know there's no plans to extend it at least in New York so I'm not quite sure what's going to happen at that point uh, I guess worse come to worse you know just be using the regular uh, regular lanes but the HOV access definitely saves time and it's definitely for me it definitely cups about 20 minutes off my commute so uh, it's definitely been a lifesaver I've been using it for over a decade uh, with the various Priuses that I've had um, again I've owned to date I've owned three uh, including the 2023 year uh, I actually had traded in my 2013 for this car and I still have the 2015 uh, which you know due to the mileage I actually what happened was I was using the 2015 but the miles are getting up there so I actually gave that car uh, to my wife because she's has a much shorter commute and uh, doesn't need the doesn't have a high mileage you know the mileage demands for her commute that I have so anyway honestly if I if I if the uh, 2013 uh, it, it was just getting up in years so I think it was over 10 years old and honestly I think it needed some mechanical repairs and and it just wasn't worth the money that uh, they wanted for the repairs which is ridiculous I think it was a head gasket that it needed so that's just so you know that's one of the known issues with I think from 2010 to 2012 or, I'm sorry 2014 or 2013 I think the head gasket has been a known issue with those uh, cars I think they made it thicker in the 2014 series or 2015 but just so you know, guys know just make sure you change your oil every uh, 5,000 miles uh, even though they say 10 um, I would say probably just do it every 5,000 miles it's worth it 
but yeah unfortunately that's one of the things uh the car was running fine but then all of a sudden it started losing antifreeze and the temperature light came on so that's when yeah we were we were in uh we knew something was up and taking it to the dealer they basically confirmed the head gasket was gone so yeah so basically guys you're seeing um you can see the ev ratio is dropping a little bit um so yeah so that's the thing like with recharging i i've come to notice uh that the numbers are not as accurate in the uh, toyota app so it looks like i'm actually probably consuming with electricity on a monthly basis i'm probably uh doing about 50 dollars a month uh in electricity cost and you figure my phillips have been probably like once every five to six weeks at this point i'm actually um i'm actually i haven't filled up since i think over a month ago now it's definitely been a month um so and i still have like you see uh, half, a little more a little less than a half a tank and uh probably on track i'm probably going to get about 1600 miles on this uh current go around before i need to go to the gas station but we'll see um so you know with that i guess like i said it, the convenience of not having to run to the gas station you know every three to four days um, it's a time saver and basically having access to the hov lane definitely for me makes the, the 2023 prius worth it um like i said i one thing i wish the you know the battery capacity i hope i do hope it does get better uh you know i know people have written about the self-driving capability of the tesla and you know the different features but one of the things i do like that i have gasoline a gasoline engine that i can rely on i don't have to worry about range anxiety uh, especially you know if you're on a long commute upstate new york which i uh, i do on occasion i've been up there and even with a regular my regular prius um, gasoline stations were just few and far between uh, since covid a lot of the uh, rest areas have been basically out of commission and a lot of you know you're up in those areas and even though it will say there are gas stations unfortunately they if they're if you don't see it one one tip i give i can give you and from personal experience if you don't see that gas station when you come up on an exit right off the exit um i i probably steer clear and try to go to another area where the gas station is readily you can see it because i've gotten off on those exits and you can go for miles and sometimes i and actually will say that there's a gas station and there's been nothing literally for over miles i've been uh driving and driving and you'll come upon a gas station and unfortunately it'll be closed so just one of the things to uh to keep in mind um, as you're out on the road up there you know going off into uh, secluded areas and again you know with the tesla you know with the, you know if you have to recharge like if i have to recharge here with this car it's going to take hours right to get uh a decent amount of battery i mean i guess the tesla you can probably do a fast charging but you're still looking at like 20 to 30 minutes right so you know in the middle of the night do you really want to think about it do you really want to be stopped somewhere you know in a desolate place you know having to recharge whereas you know you go into a gas station you're done in about five minutes so that's one of the nice things that i do like with the prius prime uh you do have your options and you know you can it's sort of balancing i guess the best of both worlds with the you know the ev capability and the um the the gas right so you can have both so you know i think i find it i find it actually a pretty um pretty decent car in that respect so anyway guys yep so as you're basically are seeing this is my commute home and i just wanted to share this discussion with you like comment subscribe and thank you guys for watching take care